Hello everyone and welcome back to SoCal Arific. Today we're here at Knott's Ferry Farm and I'm here to show you Fiesta Village. I did come on opening day, I came with my sister, but honestly a lot of things were closed and I did get some footage, but I wanted to spend the day with my sister as well, so I decided to scrap that video. So of course we're gonna see some merch, some performances, and show you everything Fiesta Village has to offer. So come along and let's go. Fiesta Village! All right, here's a look at the fountain. And the new restaurant, Casa California. They got rid of the arcade. They got rid of the little gift shop over here. But it looks nice. It looks nice and open. Papa's Mexicanas is still closed. This is where you're gonna be able to find a lot of those loaded french fries but currently it is still not open so we have another water refill station here and i really like these here in fiesta village because they all look different and they're all decorated my favorite one so far is that little blue wave one but this one is cute as well look at how it matches another thing i really like about this remodel is like this water feature these designs it even has like a little waterfall i like that now they have like a little bridge to get to Jaguar, everything just feels a lot more open than it used to because as you know, they used to have like the games right here in the center, some tables. Fog is working again, look at it. This is so cool. It's got a donkey walking through Fiesta Village over here. The fountain is now exposed. I just love these statues. Look at this little seahorse. entertainment offerings that they do have right now in Fiesta Village is the Bob Baker marionettes. They did make their return. They have performed here in Fiesta Village before, but it is such a cute show. At least watch it once. I really do enjoy it. I just love seeing those little puppets with the music. I think they're just so cute and funny. <laughs> So last time I came, this Oaxaca Limonada stand was not open, but it is now open. But here's a look at the menu and some items that you can find here at this little stand in Fiesta Village. And also look, another water refill station. Another design, it looks like boulders. It blends in so nicely. I love these themed water stations. I just think they look so cool. Right, remember, if you're visiting Fiesta Village, Montezuma Forbidden Fortress is not open yet. It has been delayed. But here's a little current progress. So last time I came, these restrooms are closed, but they are open. And these definitely need like a major overhaul. They're like one of the worst in the park. Now they feel super clean, look super nice. Another thing that is now open is this Coca-Cola refresh station. And they also have Mr. Pip because I am a fan of Mr. Pip. And the only other location that I know of is Prop Shop Pizzeria. But now I could come and get my Mr. Pip here in Fiesta Village. Fiesta Village, right across from the little fountain is where you could find the storyteller. They have multiple performances throughout the day and basically a storyteller comes out and reads a story to the children. They put on some mats on the floor so the kids could sit down and listen to the stories. Uh, and said, I am the goat from the hills and the mountains and I eat children and the mothers for dessert. So another free activity that they have here in Fiesta Village is the arts and crafts. This is from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. So just check the app just to double check for that day. So we have our coloring sheets here. So these are our alabrijes. These are the spirits of Fiesta Village. So you guys can color them. And then once you guys are done coloring them, you can find their statues throughout Fiesta Village. I got Filimon. 
and that is so cute. So when I came on opening day, the Baja Taqueria was actually closed, but today it is open. So I'm gonna give you a little peek at the menu and what you could find here when you visit. So here's a look at the menu. Currently there is no items for the dining plan. Hopefully that changes soon. But these are the type of foods that you can find here at Baja Taqueria. So they have moved the locations of a lot of the merch. In the middle, it used to be more like games, but they put two merch booths and I'll show you what you can find there. Fiesta Mercado and you can see you can find different products and now they have like their own like food products here at Fiesta Village they have some candied jalapenos buffalo blue cheese hot sauce and also some Fiesta Village merch there is a ton of candy to choose from they even got like chamoy candy some gummy worms some peach rings so that's super cool. I definitely have to try something. They have some cookies, some cinnamon churro cookies. And I am a fan of Mexican wedding cookies. My grandma used to make some really great tasting ones. The only thing is that last time I had some pre-packaged cookies from Knott's, they were boysenberry. I did not finish them. I threw them away. I did not like them. So I'm hoping these are better. If anyone has tried these, let me know if they're worth purchasing. All right, so here is some attraction merch actually seen this this is actually super cool $45 and it's like a tiki mug of Montezuma's revenge that's so awesome another thing I like about Fiesta Village it feels like so alive now I don't know, you have music like in every corner. Right now you have some samba performances. And for those who want an adult beverage, Cantina del Sur is where you could come find it. I'll give you a little peek at the menu. This is like the shortest line I've seen for it so far. When I came on opening day, like wrapped over there. But right now it's like literally a walk up. So that is super cool. So for the summer, you can find a ton of performances at the new stage, which looks awesome. But you're gonna wanna sit in front to get like a really good view. They have some tables and chairs. I do recommend getting there a little early so you could see like the performances up close with no like obstructed view. Also the mariachi angelitas are back. Um, it feels like this has been a while since they have been back, but I am glad they're performing right over there at that stage as well. Again, they have brought a lot of entertainment here to Fiesta Village. There is so much to do. But right now we're waiting for Calle Celebración. I have seen this show online, but I have not seen it in person. And it looks amazing. watching Calle Celebración 
and I really enjoyed it. You guys have to stop and watch this show. But the night one does have some fireworks and fire effects, so I think I'm gonna stay and watch it again just to see how it looks a little different. All right, so we're finally gonna try some food from Casa California. Um, it was packed all day, but I just went right now. It's around seven, and there was really no line. So it's kind of like Chipotle. The only thing is the carne asada, it's not on the meal plan. So you do have to pay extra for that. We went with the carnitas. We got some lettuce, queso, cilantro rice. So it's just like a chipotle bowl, but I gotta see if it tastes good. So we just had the bowl from Casa California, and it was pretty good. I'm so happy that it's part of the meal plan. I definitely will be trying it again. I also wanna try the burrito. But I really like the carnitas with the green chili. Next time I'm gonna ask for some more but I do recommend it if you haven't tried it. All right, everyone, so that was our day here, practically in Fiesta Village. I will be back because, again, Summer Nights is going on, Ghost Town Alive until September 6th, but we got the whole summer, so I'll definitely bring you along for that. But for now, don't forget to hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, because we're gonna have more videos coming soon. Until next time, bye guys.